Hey there. PHP MyAdmin is a phenomenal database management tool for MySQL, but a lot of times you'll see that it starts to lag, especially when you're running intensive queries in MySQL. But thankfully, there's a much more lightweight tool called Adminer, which is literally one PHP file that does most of what PHP MyAdmin can do. So if you're wanting to replace PHP MyAdmin or just try something newer and faster, first, make sure that you have at least an Apache web server installed on your Raspberry Pi. But if you still need to do this, don't sweat it. I've already done a video walking you through this entire process, but if you're all set, let's dive in. First of all, let's start our browser and point it to adminer.org, which is their official website. And so further down, you'll be seeing a section for downloads. You'll be clicking on adminer for MySQL and then storing it in your public HTML directory that's on your Raspberry Pi. To be exact, this is typically located in slash var slash www slash HTML by default. But if it's easier for you to download it directly from your Raspberry Pi, you can simply right click the download link and get it copied and then from your Raspberry Pi, CD into your root web directory. Then run the wget command by feeding in the download path that you copied earlier. Make sure you use the O option to rename it to adminer.php. And believe it or not, you've now gotten adminer installed. So let's try and test it out by going back to our browser session and then pointing it to where adminer.php is located on our Raspberry Pi's web server. You'll first see a login screen, but don't be scared because you can use the same credentials that you use to log into PHP MyAdmin. And you'll notice that the login happens almost instantaneously because there's not much to load. What adminer gives you is the bare minimum. It's practically PHP MyAdmin without all the bells and whistles. Try to cycle through some of the databases that you typically see in PHP MyAdmin. And you'll notice Adminer has select queries for each table on the left side. This is how you typically query data from each table. And of course, if you wanted to run custom queries, you can either click the edit link from the select all statement at the top of each table or just click SQL command right below the selected database. Okay, so now that you have Adminer installed, there's one more exciting thing that you can do with this tool. If you head back to the Adminer website, there's a bunch of cool themes that make it look a lot better. My personal favorite is the Dracula theme, but whatever design you end up going with, I'll show you how to get it installed. It's literally just one step. You just need to download the CSS file for the design that you like and then place it in the directory where you placed adminer.php on your Raspberry Pi's web server. Just make sure that you don't rename the file with anything other than adminer.css. And if you simply head back to your adminer session or just refresh the page, boom, your theme should now be applied instantly. So I hope this helped you find a better, simpler, and faster replacement for PHP MyAdmin. One thing I do still highly recommend is still hold on to PHP MyAdmin for backup because it has features that you may still want to use like query statistics or real-time monitoring. But Adminer is definitely superior for managing and querying MySQL databases super fast. Thanks for watching and for more on Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to this channel.